welcome back to the channel today we're back with another quick win wednesday today we're going to talk about um, query builder and optimizing the queries that are performed with the query builder in eloquent so let's dive into it all right so we have an amount of books actually we have 800 books and 3000 reviews in the database and we're looping through all of them and we're showing the amount of reviews per book alongside of that. This took uh, 6.68 seconds, 41 megabytes of um, memory used, and we performed 803 queries and we loaded 7,600 models for that. Well, how can we optimize that? First of all, we have um, a, a controller where we get all the data and then we have an index.blade file with the sentence uh, that we have here. We have some amount of books and there are some amount of reviews. Then we loop through all the books and we grab the title and we grab the books, then all the reviews for that book and then we perform a count onto them. Well, this is actually our first mistake here. This is something that we can optimize. We can actually chain those last two things together. So instead of taking the book and then taking all the reviews and then perform a count onto that, we can do this in one go. We can actually uh, chain those query builder functions together with adding a column, opening and closing column here at the end of reviews. So it actually tells Eloquent to, hey, you have to chain this together. Uh, so we grab the book, then we grab all the reviews and before we execute the query, uh, actually, we, before we um, execute the model counting, we actually chain it together saying, hey, you have to count them instead of grabbing them. So if we run this, there we go. Now we are down to uh, 1.49 seconds. We have 26 megabytes of memory used and we only have four, well, it's a lot a high number as well, but we have a lower number here, 4,600 models um, loaded for us. Okay, how can we um, optimize this further? Um, if we ha take a look here, we grab all the books, nothing wrong with that. Then we grab all the books again and we perform a count onto that. Then we grab all the reviews and we perform a count onto that as well. As before, we can actually um, chain this together again by getting rid of the all here. And note here that we have to have uh, a lowercase c instead of a uppercase. This is very important for the count function. So book counts and review counts. And in, let's run this again. Instead of loading all the models, we perform a count onto the database directly. This resulted in uh, 1.15 seconds, uh, more or less the same uh, megabytes of uh, used in the memory, and we only have 800 models loaded. So let's go on with some more optimizations. As we did before, we had a query chaining here, but actually we could um, ask Eloquent to, instead of get all the books, get all the books and um, take all the uh, reviews with them. So with count of reviews, and then we're going to get them all. So there we go. So with count reviews. And if we do that, we have another value added to our um, book for us. And that's actually count uh, reviews uh, count and it's not a function it's a value and if you run this again boom notice that we have from 803 um, or was it 802 well I, I, don't, I don't know actually uh, to only three queries and those three queries are quite simple um, it grabs irrigation of the books um, and it counts them and does the same thing for reviews and in here we have all the books and it also has all the counts as, as you can see, it does it in one query here. This grabs the books again as reviews count. And that's the, va the value that I have changed into the, uh, to the blade file. And that's it. Only 800 models loaded. So how can we actually perform 
another optimization well we are only down to 972 milliseconds well as you can see i have a lot of books here well let's um, add paginate to them so instead of get we'll be uh, using paginate it would be paginating them uh, by let's say uh, 200 yeah 200 when we're doing this we have to um, add a links function so we have books and then we have links and that's a function there we go and if we run this again we're down to well only 200 models loaded and we have 655 milliseconds of request time 20 megabytes of memory and we have down here well it's big it's kind of big here because well yeah i don't have any styles and if i hit the next button it is paginated and we have page two requests in the URL. So that's how I perform query optimization and make sure that everything runs smooth uh, for the applications that we build. So I hope you learned something from it. And yeah, yeah, uh, like and subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.